Helping people is an obligation of every person because every person in this world must coexist with others and help them. Every person must realize that no matter how powerful they are, they will one day need help from others. Today we will tell you an exciting story about a young girl who suddenly found herself in front of a crocodile basin and dozens of crocodiles were approaching her. It happened in the American city of New York in 1956 when a nine-year-old girl named Minzy found herself inside a small crocodile reserve surrounded by a fence. The reserve contained a large basin with dozens of crocodiles, and the parents took pictures of their little daughter near the crocodile basin. While this was going on, the girl crept away from her parents to a small opening that was under the fence and entered the crocodile basin. The girl was not aware of the danger as she was approaching the basin and she was eager to touch those fierce crocodiles. Immediately she noticed the crocodiles approaching her, and they were starting to think about having a nice heavy meal. The parents turned to look for the girl but couldn't find her. When they looked inside the cage, they noticed that she was inside waving her hand to the crocodiles, and at the same time, the crocodiles were approaching her quickly. The parents were shocked and began calling for help. A large crowd gathered around the cage, but none of them had thought to enter the enclosure in order to save the little girl from those hungry crocodiles. Everyone was watching the situation, and the father was trying to climb the fence to reach his daughter, but he could not. He remained holding his hat, moaning and watching what was going to happen to his daughter. The mother and the rest of the audience were all in shock, watching the terrifying situation. There were only a few meters left between the crocodiles and the girl. In those moments, a man came from afar, climbed the fence very quickly, and then jumped and entered the cage holding a long rope that had been recommended by a man who was with him. The man outside the cage was to grab the rope from him when he tried to get out. Then he went straight towards the girl, grabbed her, carried her, and returned her to safety. Although the crocodiles chased him and the girl, he was very fast. He put the girl on his back and ordered her to hold on by her neck. Then, he climbed the rope and jumped over the fence, exiting the cage. It had been only a few seconds that had separated this little girl from the ferocious crocodiles, but this man had stepped in and saved her from certain death. The attendees applauded him for his courage and skill in dealing with the matter. In the end, it turned out that the savior was the famous comedian and novelist George Carlin. The artist was on a business trip to one of the theaters located next to the zoo. While passing near the park, he noticed the girl inside the crocodile cage, which made him get out of his car with his friend and bring a rope to enter and save her. As for the girl who was rescued, it turned out to be the future Hollywood star Nancy Allen, who has appeared in many films and has become popular with movie fans around the world. After many years passed after the incident, the artist George Carlin started suffering from alcohol and drug addiction in 2008. He stopped working entirely and entered the world of gambling. After losing many bets, he ultimately declared bankruptcy. When he told Nancy about it, he made sure to tell her that he was the one who saved her life. She went to his house and offered to help him. Nancy paid for all the expenses of George Carlin's addiction treatment, and he eventually managed to get through this difficult period of life and recovery. Although he announced his retirement from acting, George Carlin continued his creativity in the field of writing. His most recent book, It's Stupid to Fear Crocodiles from a Little Girl, was a novel that met with great success and achieved a high rate of sales. An American actor and writer who volunteered and saved the life of that girl did not know that one day that girl would return the favor and help him get past the most challenging stage of his life and eventually get his life back. Animals fuel the world around them much better than people, so people should trust them more, especially in issues that are beyond their understanding. For example, dogs are able to warn their owners about danger long before something terrible happens. Unfortunately, some people ignore the signals their pets give them, and it almost costs them their lives. One day, an old forester stumbled upon a little wolf pup in the forest. Being young and inexperienced, the animal got caught in a trap and couldn't pull its front paw out of it. The man took pity on the little pup and set it free. 
The forester was about to leave when he realized that the young wolf wouldn't survive without help. It couldn't even step on its own paw, so the man took it in. Thanks to his good care, the wolf soon recovered, although it continued to limp a little. Soon, the forester felt that he could no longer live in the village as he couldn't handle taking care of the village home anymore. He moved to the city where his daughter lived and left the house to his adult grandson, who got married recently and was very happy to move into his grandfather's house with his young wife. A little bit later, the wife got pregnant, and the family was waiting for the birth of their son. All this time, the wolf was slowly getting used to the new owners. It immediately accepted the young man, but his wife made the wolf uneasy for some reason. It was only when the woman's belly began to grow that the wolf became friendlier and even began to accept food from the woman. It seemed that the life of the newlyweds would continue as a real-life fairy tale. Something unfortunate happened to them one winter day when the man of the house was at work. His wife lit the stove and lay down to rest, but for some reason, maybe from simple forgetfulness, the young woman forgot to open the damper. Carbon monoxide filled the room and caused the wife to lose consciousness. When the husband came back home after his shift, he found his wife lying on the floor. He called an ambulance, but it was too late. The paramedic said that unfortunately, there was nothing he could do to help. The man was beside himself with grief. He sat next to his deceased wife and cried quietly. Suddenly, the door opened, and their wolf came into the room. It usually didn't ask to go inside the house, but for some reason, this time, it pushed the doors with its paws, went up to the body, and looked at it for a long time. Suddenly, the wolf jumped up and began to lick the dead woman's hands. The man was blinded with rage. He took the animal outside and put it on a chain. The wolf was going crazy in the yard all night. The day of the funeral came. When all of the unpleasant procedures were over, the young widower came back home and locked himself in the kitchen. The wolf continued to howl while trying to gnaw through the chain. The man even wanted to shoot it, but instead, he went up to his pet and took off its collar. The wolf immediately rushed into the forest in the direction of the cemetery, but the man didn't pay attention to it. In the morning, the man went to check on the grave together with the parents of his deceased wife. When they approached the cemetery, they saw something was going on there. The grave was half dug, and their wolf was standing on it. It had tried to dig up the woman. People were trying to chase it away from the grave, but suddenly they heard a moan. The sound came from below. In just a few minutes, they dug out the body of the unfortunate woman. She was alive, and the little heart inside her was still beating as well. Both the woman and her child survived. The doctor's surprise had no limit after all. When they called her death before, she had no pulse. Ever since that day, the wolf has become a true member of the family. If it weren't for his perseverance, two innocent lives would have remained underground. Many people's understanding of crocodiles is that they are reptiles and cold-blooded animals. When crocodiles hunt for prey, they will use their own advantages to hide in the water. Once they find their prey, they strike decisively. They don't keep their prey alive. Therefore, crocodiles will not only threaten the lives of animals, but even human beings will shy away from crocodiles. If you encounter a crocodile slowly crawling towards you, out of fear, you will definitely do everything possible to escape, but what if the crocodile wants to ask you for help? A man discovered a giant crocodile. When he learned that the crocodile was asking him for help, he bravely extended a helping hand, and finally found something incredible in the crocodile's belly. In the waters near the Nile, crocodiles are not uncommon animals. Crocodiles can often be seen moving near the river. They have lived here for many years. Crocodiles often patrol near water in order to feast on their prey. In order to avoid the crocodiles, the local people have come up with many ways to defend against such dangerous animals. Usually, the locals will avoid the crocodiles as soon as they meet them. The local children have been educated since they were young to stay away from places where crocodiles often appear. Even if they encounter a crocodile by accident, they should not be curious to check it out, but should flee immediately. 
Michael is 38 years old this year. He has lived in a small village in Sudan all his life. This is also the place where he met his wife. After starting a family with his wife, he has been living a happy and peaceful life. The village where they live is close to the Nile River. Michael and his family run a farm together. The food they produce on the farm is enough to feed their family, so they live in a surplus. Besides being a down-to-earth farmer, Michael was also known in the village for his heroic qualities, and his family knew that better than anyone. Because of Michael's tenacity, no matter what he does, he will succeed in most cases, so other villagers in the village like him very much, which is why the local villagers are happy to call him the leader. So when the villagers encounter difficulties or other critical situations, they will turn to Michael for help. This village is close to the Nile River, so there is no need to worry about daily water use, but there are often dangerous animals such as crocodiles or hippos in the Nile River, and they usually stay in the water. The villagers know that as long as they don't get close to the river, they will avoid it. Until one day, this dangerous creature ventured across the river and came to the village. Nothing like this has happened since Michael was born. One day, a crocodile came near the village. It looked much bigger than the average crocodile, with a bulging belly. It didn't look like it was full normally, and its whole body was very huge. On the banks of the Nile, the villagers opened a channel to bring water from the Nile to the village for daily use by the villagers. The crocodile was lying on the passage, its body completely blocked the water outlet, and the water in the passage stopped immediately, which meant that the daily water supply in the village was cut off. When some peasant women in the village went to wash clothes near the water source, they suddenly found this huge guy. After looking carefully, they saw that the crocodile had completely blocked the passage. The peasant women were terrified by the scene in front of them, and hurried to find Michael and asked him for a solution. Michael came to the scene according to the location mentioned by the peasant women. He knew that if he didn't take the time to deal with the situation in front of him, not only the water supply in the village would be greatly affected, but the safety of the villagers would also be threatened. Michael carefully observed the huge guy in front of him, thinking about how to drive the crocodile back into the river. But what surprised Mike was that the crocodile had an unusually large belly, probably because of its size, and walked very slowly, as if it was playing slow motion. The surrounding villagers were also whispering and discussing how to deal with the situation at hand, but most people's point of view was to deal with the crocodile on the spot, and then move the crocodile back into the Nile water. But Michael strongly opposed it, because Michael was taught when he was a child that all creatures have their meanings on this earth, and humans cannot persecute animals at will. Fortunately, Michael suddenly thought of who to ask to help solve this dilemma. A few weeks ago, a guest came to the village to discuss how to deal with problems involving wild animals. Michael rushed to find this person to help him save the large crocodile. This man is Jason. He came to Sudan from England to promote the protection of wild animals. Michael knew that Jason was a wildlife protector and had tried to persuade local villagers not to hunt large wild animals. This time they encountered such a problem, Jason would definitely not stand idly by. Michael then called Jason and asked him for help. Hearing that it was an emergency involving wild animals, Jason was on the scene in a short time. At this time, the villagers were impatient, the water was cut off. The villagers wanted to dispose of the crocodile immediately. Jason begged the villagers not to hurt the crocodile, and even offered to give the crocodile some food first. From the perspective of solving the root cause of the problem, it is indeed an effective way to deal with the crocodile immediately, but both Michael and Jason tried their best to prevent it, so this method was rejected. Because the time Jason stayed in the village was limited, it was impossible to drive the crocodile away in a short time. Finally, they found an experienced veterinarian online and learned about the situation through a video call. The inspection was far from enough. Fortunately, the veterinarian was not very far from the village, so he finally decided to come to the village to check in person. After a while, the veterinarian arrived at the scene. After carefully inspecting the crocodile, the veterinarian immediately made a decision. 
He was sure that there must be something wrong with the crocodile's body. The crocodile's belly bulges unnaturally. It may have swallowed something weird so it can't digest it. So the crocodile must be cut open immediately to get the stuff out, so that the crocodile can be saved. The slow movement of the crocodile is also due to being trapped by the things in its stomach. The crocodile is very weak at this time and has no strength to attack humans at all. The veterinarian asked Michael and Jason to help control the crocodile. He was going to perform an operation on the crocodile. After the veterinarian gave the crocodile anesthesia, the crocodile slowly closed its eyes. Next, the veterinarian opened the crocodile's stomach. The veterinarian was shocked to see the contents of the crocodile's stomach. It didn't look like food or prey for the crocodile, but the only thing that was certain was that the crocodile couldn't digest it. However, delaying for too long will also threaten the life of the crocodile. Fortunately, the crocodile got their help. As long as the contents of the crocodile's stomach are taken out, it can be out of danger, and the crocodile's wound will heal slowly. Later, Michael learned from the veterinarian that the crocodile should have eaten the garbage discarded by people in the river, so it could not digest it. The crocodile appeared in the village because it had to ask humans for help when encountered difficulties, so he blocked the water channel of the villagers. Michael was very happy that he rescued the crocodile, and he didn't expect the crocodile to be so smart, and he also had a new understanding of the crocodile. Because the garbage almost hurt it, it can be seen how important the protection of the environment is to the protection of wild animals. Therefore, we must not only protect wild animals, but also protect the nature where animals and humans live together, so as not to litter or destroy natural resources at will, so that humans and wild animals can live in harmony.